If you make this mistake, you could destroy your speakers. I'll show you why. Oh my, you're going to hate this. I'll start Audacity, bring it up, make it generate a tone, and we make it generate tone at 0 dB. Boom. That's a 1 kilohertz tone, just like that. 16 seconds worth. Just to make sure, select it, and then we can do things to it. So, first of all, we put it at minus 1, then we put it at minus 2. Next one, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and then we go for the next one, believe it or not, minus 6. Yeah, you guessed, didn't you? So we've got minus 6, that's 6 dB from the beginning to there, and then going back up, play it, and let you listen to it. That's it, expanded to full screen. Just so you know, there's no jiggery pokery going on. This is the trace as seen by the video software putting the audio on here. What that proves is between 0 dB and minus 6 dB, i.e. 6 dB loss, there is nothing you can hear. Now we reverse it and go from 0 to 3 dB and then back down again. That's plus 3 dB and then back down again. Did you notice the shrillness there as it went up in the stages? This is what it looks like if you turn clipping on. As you can see, the very end of it is at 0.99 dB, so no clipping at all. And that is why you have to be careful of clipping. Because if you go whacking it up, you're going to get distortion. You're not going to get any more volume, because once you start clipping, you, you don't get any more volume. All you get is extra clipping. As it started at zero, it was OK. Then it went up to plus one, two, and three. You could hear the three stages of the clipping getting more shrill, more bright making it sound more lively or distorted, whichever way you look at it. That's one of the things people fall in the trap of doing, is they overdrive and then they think they like the resultant sound. Distortion is often used in musical instruments, wah-wah pedals and fuzz pedals and all that sort of thing for guitars. They're actually just putting distortion on the sound. But when you're replaying what the recording was, you want to replay what the actual recording was, not add your own distortion. So that's where you have to be a bit careful. Hope you got something from this. If you did, maybe you'd like to subscribe and click the like button and I'll try and catch you another time. There's a useful video coming up here.